yeah hi in this video i would like to show you on how the account determination will be maintained for the foreign currency valuation so here to check the the account determination you need to go to the spro and, uh, and from the spro you can see here uh, financial accounting general ledger periodic processing valuate and uh, we are in the valuate here so foreign currency valuation so this is where the system will pick what what is the account should be valued and when you valuing that account and which account should be updated so when you click on this you can see here exchange rate difference on open item gl accounts so the kdf is the one transaction by the system is automatically do and when you click ok so now um, we already having the valuation list which the system is already done for 1400, 1450000 and 16000. So all these accounts. So when you see these accounts, um, let me go to the 14500 account and I double click on this. You can double click or you can click on the detail. So you can see. So here and uh, the account you can you can see here when when the account showing here is as a this is called a realized gain or loss which is not the case so this is not the case uh, for our uh, at this moment but when it comes to the uh, valuation and this is the one uh, the system is going to do the Posting. So here, when you do the mapping for these, this account is the valuation account here. So, and you need to maintain the correct realize gain or loss and unrealized. The valuation is nothing but unrealized. Yeah. So when when you go back, postings, and you can see here. So. You can see the posting for the account 145 so the system is showing here um, if you go and what is the valuation account so this is the valuation account and here is our valuation account so you can see this is the gain or loss so one is a p and l account Another one is a balance sheet adjustment. So the system is going to pick this account, which is a, a, and and also which is a gain. Yeah. So you see, 50 means is a gain, and and the balance sheet account. So the other case, the system will pick the balance sheet account to post into the system. So this is how the postings will be done based on the account determination. So now if you go into check these accounts um, in the in the system. So these accounts or a p and l account so you can see an appropriated um, account which is a gl and you can see the line item which is a line item display account and here is uh, the field status group for this account so this account uh, should be a p and l account so when it comes to the another account which is a balance sheet account so you can see one account is a PNL and another one uh, is actually the balance sheet account if you see this posting the adjustment posting will be done uh, to do the foreign currency valuation by the system so you can see this is where um, it should be the balance sheet account and you cannot post to both uh, un unrealized gain or loss should be always reflected in the financial statement under balance sheet uh, yeah as a uh, reporting point of view at the every month so yeah so this is how um, you can see in the system so when you go into the account which is 230 
one zero this account is actually a PNL account so you can see this is a PNL account which is called a currency value revaluation yeah you can see this is a PNL account okay so regarding our account which is a two three zero zero is a revaluation loss you yeah? so foreign currency revaluation loss which is a PNL also this is also a PNL account so yeah so this is how um, the system will uh, post the transaction so what sh what shall we do now uh, I am going to run the revaluation postings for this customers and vendor in the real run so uh, in the next session I am going to post foreign currency revaluation for a customer and a vendor what uh, the all the open items thank you